residents pass the ordinance, it would ban illegal immigrants from living and working in the community. Still, residents I talked to today say Scribner is a welcoming community as long as you can legally be here. I don't like illegals living close to me. I moved here from Salem, Oregon, and I know what it's like. Former Scribner Mayor Lawrence Stumpy says when he lived in Oregon, he lived next to undocumented immigrants, and they caused problems. He thinks if Scribner does not pass this ordinance before the Costco plant opens up in Fremont, his town will see an influx of non-citizens. Well, it'll take a few years, but uh, if that plant goes in, in uh, Fremont, uh, they'll come because they will work jobs that our young people won't do anymore. Not all residents agree, including Lawrence's wife, who says she hopes the proposal is defeated. I mean, I think God made all of us. I don't think we should be that way. I think we should work together. And I'm sure that there's a lot of people here that think that way. The city council wants to pass an ordinance similar to the one adopted by Fremont four years ago. New residents are required to pay a small fee and put their name through a federal database to ensure they're of legal status. So far, the federal government has not assisted in confirming legal status, making Fremont's laws unenforceable. Still, some Scribner residents seem to want a similar ordinance. I think that we would welcome people that really want to make this a home and make it their family as long as they were legal. While most residents drinking coffee at the local tavern say they're for the new law, Warren Stumpy still thinks the town will vote no. Until the people get next to it, they'll probably vote, you know, fairly liberal, you know, let everybody in. Mm -hmm. But when you live next to it and see it down the street and everything, uh, they'll change their mind. And Scribner, like many cities in Nebraska, is in the middle of a housing shortage. So even if an immigrant wanted to live here, they might have trouble finding an affordable place to live. In Scribner, John Kipper, 3 News Now.